Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you kind of a very hard to find straw blower in the market. Uh, this is a 2007 Finn B70 RHF, which stands for right hand feed. These are a skid mounted unit uh, with the blower housing uh, inlet being to the side so you can conveniently mount this on. A lot of guys will mount them on the back of a Maruka truck or on a trailer, like a 30 foot trailer, where they can load their hay or straw on and conveniently make this your operator station. Uh, if you're gonna pull it through a swampy area or if you're gonna run a rubber track truck through a wet area, this is the straw blower to find. So, B70 trailer mount, probably the most common. These are the most hard to find is the B70 uh, right hand feed units. Uh, I always deal in thin straw blowers, have for many, many years. My dad probably has close to 30 couple years in the straw blower uh, industry and knowing and knowledge about them. But you know, Finn is the Cadillac brand of the straw blowers as far as I am concerned. And a lot of guys will 110% agree with me on that. So in this series, Kubota V1505 four cylinder diesel engine. Um, we're gonna walk you around the machine uh, I guess I got ahead of myself. Uh, we'll walk you around this machine. We have straw here. We are going to run it just like we do in all our product demonstration videos. You'll see in times past. Uh, that's what I like to do and show people that stuff is accurately the way it's supposed to be. So underneath the hood of this machine, I'm going to have the Kubota V1505 four-cylinder diesel engine, which I don't understand, but I guess it has to do with emissions. Finn has went to a Yanmar with a particulate filter on it, uh, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, this is a non-admission straw blower, uh, which in my opinion is way better than anything with a particulate filter on it today, but uh, whatever. At the end of the day, that's neither here nor there. So this unit has been in our shop fully serviced uh, as we do with our used equipment. Uh, again, I forgot to mention the clean out screen is here for your radiator, uh, which Finn had a very nice setup on this machine. So fuel filter here has been done. Air filter has been done. Uh, spin on fuel filter back here has been done. Um, and the uh, engine oil has been changed. Everything there is 110%. Machine, I will keep in, um, remind you here, machine has just 33 hours. Uh, I know where this machine come from. Uh, man bought it for two projects. They specialized in wet um, restoration repair and have since changed their division of their business. Now they're doing something else. Uh, this had been sitting in his barn. Paint is weathered a little bit. We did clean it up. I'm not gonna lie to you in any way. They had this set up to sit on the back of a Maruka truck and they had an apparatus bolted underneath, basically slid into their truck. So again, that is why the paint is a little weathered, it's just been setting. You have a access door here that lets you into your beater chains and you can see their paint is still on the fan and I see we missed taking a piece of string off, but I'll explain that here in a second. Uh, whenever I cut my strings, you always want to cut your strings on your straw blower. You don't want to let this stuff get wrapped around here. We will have that removed. But again, right hand feed has a slide in table, uh, side fed um, machine. So it's going to bring your material in from the side and run it through the uh, beater chains and blower housing. But a nice setup, works nice. And again, skid mounted units are very hard to find. Um, clutch engagement is going to be here. This is going to be your center mounted uh, picking point where you're basically going to pick right here at the chain if you want to lift it. Um, the nylon box here were just weathered from setting. We put a brand new set of nylon box in. This decal is coming off. It was just faded up here and a little bit of paint loss. We did touch this up, put a new decal on. Um, coming around to this side, the toolbox is here. Inside the toolbox is the owner's manual for the machine. Uh, the pin's always done a little toolbox on them, which is nice. Again, 33 hours, original, meter works, everything here is right, throttle cable is good, Murphy switch is good, horn does work. Um, feed table here will retract. Um, chute, we're gonna pull this pin right here. Simply gonna take it out, your lock bar is gonna come down. I'll fold this up and stick it in my pocket so it doesn't get lost. And then you're gonna have a 360 degree chute. Now, spin B70 will discharge 70 feet in still air, okay? You see there it's holding itself up, which that's what it's supposed to do. Um, I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna fire this machine up. I'm gonna let it warm up a second. I'm gonna cut the strings on my bales. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feed some material through this machine for you, show you that it works just the way it's supposed to. For starting procedure, glow plug backwards. Murphy switch held in.
to get out here. What's that call is but to be one to one, it's not throwing it out, hurting anything. Why did I go down a second to show you what I was doing? Went ahead, shut the motor off. Here's a major important thing. See, I had one more way for that. You can see here, I'm gonna bring you over here, I'm gonna open this door, which I shouldn't do, but I'm going to. You can still see everything's slowing down nice and slow. So we're talking, I've already had to shut off for close 30 seconds. Um, if you had a bad bearing or had some type of shaft problem, that would be evident because um, at that point, something's gonna stop suddenly. Um, or that's slowing down nice and slow, which is what you want to do. Okay? Guys, if you have any questions on this P70 right hand feed or RHF, please let me know. Again, paint has some weather marks on it. I'm not lying to you. I want to be 110% straight up and honest with everybody. Uh, that's why I'm probably one of the only guys that will take the time to do what I just did to show you the Ackley Blow Straw. You can see what format it lays down here. Of course, I did disturb this down here, but I wanted to show you the wind uh, velocity this machine has. You can see what it's going to lay. It does a nice job. Up top here, you'll see, really nice and flat. I don't know if you can see there or not in the video, but it does lay a very nice mat. Okay? If you want the Cadillac of a straw blower, buy a fin, by far. Um, there's some... Other machines on the market, in my opinion, are way less inferior products. Uh, they're just not, they're not, they're not the straw blower a fin is. They're never going to be. I don't care what they do. They're just, fin is a Cadillac machine as far as I'm concerned. They've been around forever, uh, built down Fairfield, Ohio. Um, tremendous, tremendous machine, tremendous company. Again, this is a pre-admissions Kubota V1505, uh, like they've built since like 1990, what year would they have went away from the early one? 1996, I believe it was, uh, clear forward till 2013 till they had to meet admissions or 14. So again, you know, this is a pre-admission V1505, um, fully serviced, ready to go, hard to find, right hand feed. Uh, did do my homework, you know, a guy actually just bought like seven of these, a dealer has them advertised. Uh, they're $36,000 a copy. That's what they are. Uh, they're not selling them any less than that. Um, you know, I feel I've priced mine very reasonable in the market. It is a 33 hour machine. The thing's 110%. I don't mean to just stand here and keep beating a dead horse. I just want everybody to understand. I know what I have. I know what I own. Mark Supply Company, Nick and Mark Miller own this thing. It's paid for. It's not eating anything. So don't call it for stupid, ridiculous offers. I do appreciate your time of watching our video, uh, seeing this product demonstration. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. If you need shipping, please let me know about that. I'll be glad to work with you and help you in any way we can. If you need a quote, just give us a phone call. So again, check out our pictures, videos. Check us out on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. Again, uh, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. Thank you very much. Have a good day.